and inside yeah. they're off and it was owed to joy and he left in the air left in the air at the start and he missed it by five palace pal from the outside flew out infinite power turin red star in the first three and then total power from happy angel wider leading fortune on the rail Next is Super Oasis from Precise Express. Ode to Joy is tacked on and Ezra is last. Infinite Power has it by a half a length. Palace Pal to his outer. Turin Red Star third, Total Power fourth. Happy Angel next around leading fortune from Super Oasis. Ode to Joy. Precise Express is second last and a length and a half to Ezra who's back at the tail end. Infinite Power in his favourite role leads by a length over Palace Pal, Turin Red Star. Total power fourth, one off the fence from Happy Angel who covers the favourite leading fortune. Then Super Oasis and Ode to Joy. Precise Express starts a run from second last and he takes off at speed. And Ezra's going to try and follow him. 600 to go. Infinite power leads half a length. Palace Pal, Turin Red Star. Total power fourth. Up to fifth now, Precise Express. Leading fortune looking to clear traffic. He has five lengths to make up from Happy Angel. And then Super Oasis, Infinite Power. Total power as Palace Pals dropped off. And then came Leading Fortune. He's looking to come through between horses. Precise Express and Super Oasis. Total power, Precise Express trying to sustain that long wide run. Total power bumped him. It's Precise Express taking over from Total Power and Leading Fortune. And Precise Express is going to win it. Big effort. Precise Express beat Total Power, who ran out badly in the lane and Leading Fortune through to third. Then Turin Red Star. Next in is Super Oasis, Happy Angel, Ezra, Infinite Power, Palace Pal, and last in as Ode to Joy. That's the fourth. Precise Express. Derek Long and Ricky Yu got a decent old bump from Total Power. If he hadn't got past him, it might have been interesting, but he has got past him by a neck at the end. Off at 7.5 and 2, the winner. Total Power second, the 7 at 2.2 and Leading Fortune, the 3 at 1.3. Derek was the first to make that move from 20 and 134.48. Thanks, Mark. As we see them go here, he drew barrier number eight to, to, to Precise Express. You can see that Ode to Joy was just playing it before the off and to, missed it in the end. Palace Power was the one that to, did go forward and to apply a little bit of pressure in the early stages to Infinite to Power. Total Power there, Handy, Turin, Red Star on the inside. And then you've got uh, Happy Angel, Super Oasis, Leading Fortune. Precise Express, Ode to Joy, Ezra settling back uh, last. Uh, Jenny, pretty even first sort of uh, four of that race 24.52 when standard is 24.55. Yeah, so you can see the winner in the red cap there uh, towards the, the tail of the field and just travelling along quite nicely and getting the cover from Super Oasis who was in front of him. Was covering a little bit of ground there, Happy Angel, who actually sticks on quite okay here. Um, so he might have had a little excuse, but uh, yeah, he's, he's the grey horse in the middle of the field, just one off the fence. The favourite, Leading Fortune, is on the fence and just trying to angle for a run. Uh, so uh, he sort of slightly held up in the early part of the straight. But uh, Precise Express actually got going before the turn here, and it turned out to be a winning move. Yes, yeah, good ride here by Derek Lee. He's covered to ground around the outside as they swing in. Palace Powell is gone as they straighten up for the run home. Now, leading fortunes in the uh, green cap uh, there, and uh, Turin Red Star on the inside of the white cap. They both get around the tiring uh, Palace Powell, and then there's not really a gap for both of them at this point. As the total power just wobbled in, and then he starts to wobble out uh, next to uh, Precise Express uh, here. And uh, then out wide, you got Super Oasis, who's got a better race uh, today. Happy Angel is uh, boxed on. Infinite Power wasn't able to uh, go.